<laughs> Things are coming along great with the village, construction and all. I really have Aaron and Brendan to think. Huh. Except for this thing. This still needs work. <laughs> uh, Caitlin! Travis! Dimitri! Hey! Uh, hey, Afma. You just missed the show. Uh, what? Hey, Afma. Uh, there you are. Remember our deal. Right, right. What deal? <sighs> I told Travis he could help me move Michi and Sasha with Dimitri under the condition that he not flirt with anyone, prisoner or not. Thankfully, he's been doing a great job keeping that rule. Ah. Hey, sometimes you gotta play by the rules. That way, you'll know when to break them. Got it? Uh, uh, mm hmm got it. Uh, Travis, what else did I say? Don't corrupt Dimitri into my sad way of life. Good. <laughs> Though, I don't see what's so sad with checking out that boot. Boomerang! That boomerang I was gonna make! <laughs> I'm surprised you of all people asked Travis for help with such a task, Caitlin. If it were up to me, I wouldn't have. I wanted Lawrence to help since removing Sasha. You know, a Shadow Knight to watch a Shadow Knight. It would have been nice to have that security. But I haven't seen him all morning. Have you? No, I haven't. Um, Caitlin, is something bothering you? This isn't like you to worry about him unless he's done something dark. Look, normally I don't care what he does. Lawrence can take care of himself. But he's been acting different since we got to the island. Not the kind of Shadow Knight transformation different. But there are times he goes out and we don't see him until next morning. You're right. I honestly haven't seen him around like I normally would. I know I've been busy, but it's not like it's any less hectic than it was before when I was the Lord of Phoenix Drop. He's had plenty of chances to talk to me. He has. And same goes for him speaking to myself and Travis. There have been plenty of chances for him to communicate, but... <sighs> The reason I bring this up is because Sasha, she said something to us while we were moving her. What did she say? That woman has always been a little creepy. Something about her isn't right. Almost inhuman. It's almost as if I'm looking at a doll. I can't explain it better than that. What? What did she say, Caitlin? That's just it. It was nothing, really. She wasn't talking about Lawrence. Nothing we already don't know about him, but rather, it was the way she was saying things. As if she knew more about him that we didn't. This is... This is Sasha we're talking about. She's a former Shadow Knight, who's honestly staying with us of her own free will. She's probably trying to get at you for fun. Don't let her get to you. That's what Lawrence would say. Afmal, I think Caitlin's right. Sasha is rather disturbing. Trust me, from my own personal experiences, I know what a disturbing presence feels like, mortal or not. However, I've never met a Shadow Knight aside from Lawrence and Vlad, and those two aren't as disturbing as Sasha. If you both are that uneasy about it, I can go and speak with her. I was about to suggest that. Both she and Michi are secured in the basement, so there's nothing to worry about. <sighs> right. Thanks, Caitlin. Anytime, Afmal. I really mean that. I know, Caitlin. I do. Afmal, I really mean that. When you came back with that divine fragment and the hope of finally getting Garth out of the Irene dimension, I saw the spark in you. We can do this. We can get him out. It may take time, but you can do this. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. I know we can. This 
Divine Fragment is a key. I can just feel it. <laughs> I do too. In any case, for the time being... You two! Come here! We need to get back to training! Uh, <laughs> Aw, man! What? Me too? That's right. Dimitri will need a punching bag for his next lesson. Uh, <laughs> cool! <laughs> oh man, this wasn't part of the deal! Y yes it was. You just didn't know about it. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, Dimitri. Let's set up. Remember to aim low. <laughs> uh, I'm suddenly scared. I'll be back, you guys. Take care. Hello, Sasha. Oh, hello, Athmau. Good to see you. It's been too long. There's a reason for that, Sasha. Oh, are you still mad about that whole trying to kill you thing? As well as Levin, yes! You make it sound so personal. That was ages ago. Water under the bridge. You should really learn to let things go. Holding on to all that hate can't be good for you. I'm sure you're the person I should be talking to about something like that. Trust me, I know a thing or two about hate. Emotions can be a tricky thing. Sometimes, life would be easier without them. Don't you think? That sounds terrible. I feel sorry for you if that's what you think. It really depends on how you want to live. Of course, you don't have to ask me. You could just ask Lawrence. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> You're about as dense as that Caitlin girl. Maybe your Lawrence is hiding something from you. I could be wrong, but I really don't think so. Wait, and what exactly would you know about it? You should ask yourself that question. Let's just say we've been spending a lot of quality time together. I don't have time for this. If you want to play games, fine. But don't expect me to play along with whatever you're trying to work. Just because you won't play doesn't mean you won't lose. If you're not going to cooperate, then I'm just gonna go. Finally come to pay us prisoners a visit, Afmo? Uh... Just be glad you're finally off that boat. Don't think for a second I've forgiven you for what you've done, either. Ugh, so what? Are you just gonna keep Michi locked up in here forever? I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw you into the ocean and let the current take you back to Tula. Ah, you're almost as bad as Sasha. The only thing Michi looks forward to is Lawrence. Mmm, Lawrence. <laughs> you know he despises you almost as much as I do, right? That doesn't matter. He's still so dreamy. Michi just wants to be next to him. Ugh. I doubt that would do anything for him, Michi. What? Shadow Knights only have one path they follow. Ask Kenmer. What does that mean? Yeah? Would you stop being so weird with the things you say? I swear, it's like you're being mysterious on purpose to get attention. Yeah? All I'm saying is... You can't tame someone who's lost control of their emotions. Shadow Knights aren't meant to be without such useless traits. What does that even mean? I'm leaving you two alone here. <sighs> They're nothing but trouble. Uh, what? Afmal, there you are. Caitlin! Mikai! Lady Afmao, I'm glad I finally found you. Mikai, it's been forever. Wait, why are you here? His scaleswind? No, 
No, it's nothing like that. Skelzen is fine. Levin and Malachi directed me here. Uh, are you here for Michi? Michi is here? I can't believe it. Where is she? She's safe and sound. In our prison. Ah, I see. So it would seem she hasn't changed at all. For a moment, I thought she might have given up her old ways, but... No, I have not come on my errant sister's behalf. I have news on the tyrant king of Tula. News? Yes. My spies in Ocasus have been keeping an eye on the king. We've discovered why he is here in Ruan. He's looking for Zane Romave and the remaining members of the Jury of Nine. What? He's looking for Zane? Why? We aren't sure. The only other, the only other information we have is that the Tyrant King's researchers are poring over documents in Zane's chambers. He is looking for something. We do not know what. He invaded Ruan and occupied Ocasus for this? This doesn't make any sense! Why bring an army if you only want information? Do you believe in rumors, Aphmau? In ghost stories? What do ghost stories have to do with this? I don't believe in them. I don't believe in anything I can't see for myself. But there's a story an old Tula guard told me, and I keep coming back to it. Some years ago, there was a monster tearing throughout the countryside of Tula, killing everything in its wake. Small villages would be burnt to the ground, nothing but blood and ashes left. Any survivors found would be in hysterics screaming about a pale monster with dead eyes and scars on its face, covered in blue light. They say the king sent his entire elite guard to quell the beast. Wave after wave of the king's best warriors were killed before they were able to take the beast down and bring peace to the countryside. What? It wasn't a beast, was it? You know the story? I don't know the story. I know the monster. So it's true? Caitlin? It's one of the jury of nine. Janice the Silver Death. How do you know? Because I've met Janice. Only once. I will never forget them. Jeffrey always thought there was something unnatural about him. He was easily the strongest juror and one of Zane's favorites, always doing Zane's dirtiest work. He delighted in it, said it gave him a purpose. Gives me the chills just thinking about him. Not long after the fall of the beast, the king began his quest to amass his troops for Ruan. So, why is the king looking for Zane and the other members of the jury? That's what we can't figure out. Caitlin? Your guess is as good as mine. I wish I knew more. The only person that can answer that question is Zane. Which means... Aphmau? Caitlin? I think... I think... We'll need to get both Garth and Zane out of the Irene Dimension. What? You can't be serious! Zane? I don't think we have a choice, Caitlin. It's for the good of the region. How else are we going to know what the King of Tula wants, aside from just asking him? I... If you think that's best, Afmao, I trust you. I think it's the only way, Caitlin. Thank you, Mikai. It can't have been easy for you to come all this way. You're welcome, Aphmau. However, I came here to request a favor of you. Yes. What is it? You've done so much for us already, but it's about my people. Is it possible for us to relocate to your village? Here? S what about Skelswin? Is everything okay? 
Lord von Ronsenberg has been beyond gracious to us, but it looks as though we have been putting a strain on the village. Tula has been making everyone anxious, and we think it'll be best if we can get away from the danger he presents. It would be easier for all of us. Mm. I see. We don't intend to be a burden. We'll work harder than anyone else to support this community. I know, Mikai. You and the other refugees are more than welcome to come here. Absolutely. Anything that would help Scaleswind. Feel free to stay the night here, Mikai. I know your journey here must have been a very long one. That would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Caitlin, can you set him up around the guard station? Yes. We have more than enough space there. Follow me. You're doing it again. Uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> There's just so much that happened today, and I got caught up in all of it. What do you think? About? What Mikai said about Zane. We have to get him out. It's the only way. We have to get him before Tula does. Then you're ready to do what's necessary? I'm ready to do what I believe is best. Emmeline and Kenmer said that one of these fragments isn't powerful enough to open the portal. Do you believe you can open it? Aaron, you've shown me that I need to believe in myself and what I'm capable of. I honestly think that this fragment it's the missing piece. I honestly feel that I can use this to open the portal along with Zoe's notes and my power. What if you fail? Are you prepared for that? The last time you attempted to open it, we could have lost you. Even if you are Irene, Emmeline has stated before that Irene herself could die from doing so. Aaron, I can't let that stop me from trying. Afmal, you got lucky the last time you attempted this. Who knows what can happen if you try again. I know, Aaron, but we need to get them out. It's not just about Garth anymore. There's more at stake, and we have to try. This is what you want. Right? Yes. More than anything else. We need to do this. No matter the risk. This is something we just have to do. If we're going to do this, we need to make sure we know what we're doing. We only have one chance. You should compare the information we have from Zoe with Emmeline and Kenmer. Make sure everything is ready. I know you want to rush this but we still have to be careful. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We'll do everything we need to prepare. Right. I would never want you to leave Lilith no matter what. I would never, Aaron. You promise? I promise. Is it okay? Good. Then let's get some sleep. Right. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. <laughs> I believe it. Night, Aaron.